All right, and we are back here on the GSMC Baseball Podcast. And for the third segment of today's show, we're just going to go over the scores uh, from this past weekend. And uh, we'll try to get into the top performers as well. I'll try to go through the box scores, see who had good games. So that was one of the things I was going to do for Friday's show. I had a list of, you know, a few guys that performed well. Um, at least on uh, on Thursday night, and this was for Friday's show. And again, I listened back to the video, and there was no there was no audio at all. And I'm like, well, I can't use that. So that segment was pretty much a waste. Um, I did go into talking about, you know, maybe an immaculate grid segment, and I think I might want to save that, you know. And I, and I I did talk about this I think on Friday, um, per Friday's show. If you make sure to tune in and watch that, um, you know, I, I think I'm going to wait more towards when the season's over, because there's there's going to be times where there's going to be nothing to talk about. There, not, there, there might be nothing going on. And I think Immaculate Grid would be a nice little, you know, interaction to have with uh, with you guys. Um, so that, that that would be a lot of fun. But um, yeah, so that's basically why uh, you didn't see a top performers list. But yeah, I'll try to get through that uh and see um you know we'll go through the scores and see who who had good games so friday i mean we got three days to cover so friday um diamondbacks picked up a huge win winning one nothing over the cubs right now the diamondbacks have that third wild card spot and we'll get into that in the next segment so they've been playing a lot better um definitely they they heard me saying i i would pick either the reds or the um or the Marlins, so uh, now they're starting to play better baseball. Um, but yeah, top performer there is Zach Galen for the Diamondbacks. I mean, he's had a great year: fifteen and seven, three point three one ERA. Now a, a shutout. He's uh, he's one of the keys. He's why uh, you know the Diamondbacks. He's one of the reasons why the Diamondbacks are where they are. Um, so yeah, that was that's top performer right there. Uh, the Cardinals they beat the Reds nine to four. You know. I mean, that's a big loss for the Reds, you know. They're trying to keep pace in the wild card standings. The Rays beat the Mariners 7-4. to So, you know, they're trying to keep up with the Orioles. Um, and the Mariners, you know, they're trying to keep pace in the West. They still got a chance to win the West. And, um, you know, that's uh, that's not what you want there. White Sox beat the Tigers 6 nothing. Dodgers beat the Nationals 8-5. to Marlins they beat the Phillies three to two. Blue Jays beat the Royals five to four. The Orioles were all over the Red Sox eleven to two. Uh, Braves won eight to two over the Pirates. A's beat the Rangers, so that was a rough loss for them because that's another team that just you know they started off strong and now recently they just have been struggling a whole lot. And a lot of people just point to you know them trading for Max Scherzer and Aroldis Chapman because Chapman has blown games for them. And Max Scherzer, you know, in a big spot, has not produced. And I, I talked about it with the, when they were playing the Astros and how he gave up seven earned runs. And, yeah, when they needed him to deliver, he just he just didn't. Padres beat the Astros 11-2. to And these are all the scores from Friday. Blake Snell picked up his 13th win. Uh, the Twins beat the Mets 5-2. to So, again, they, they I mean, they're, again, I keep saying it, they're probably going to win the division. So there's really no concern there. Guardians beat the Angels 6 to 3 and the Giants won 9 to 8 over the Colorado Rockies. So that's Friday's scores. And then well also the Yankees lost 8 to 2 and that was the game that um Luis Severino got hurt. So um yeah, so now we go to Saturday's games. Uh so the Brewers beat the Yankees again 9 to 2. Not much really to talk about there. Um the Twins beat the Mets again 8 to 4. Diamondbacks again beat the Cubs. So Actually, now they, at this point with Saturday's game, they were only a uh, a game back, and well, right now they're uh, two games back um, in the current standings. But uh, yeah, we'll get into that in the next segment. Blue Jays again beat the Royals five to one. Dodgers actually lost to the Nationals on Saturday seven to six in walk off fashion. Um, Rays again beat the Mariners seven to five, and then uh, this was actually a game. Uh, that was a slugfest. 13-12, the Orioles beat 
the Red Sox to pick up their 90th win. Devers had four hits. Uh, Abreu had five hits for the Red Sox. Trevor Story had three hits. Aaron Hicks, he had three hits, three for four, three RBIs. Um, yeah, that was a uh, that was a slugfest. And uh, and you know what? Good for Aaron Hicks and Joey Gallo. You know because they went from a team that is not making the playoffs to now they're on teams that are going to. Well, Gallo was on the Dodgers last year briefly, um, but he's on the Twins. They're a first place team, and guess what? The Orioles are a first place team as well. So they went from a team that's going to finish in last place to a team to teams that are finishing in first place. So good for them, really. Um, Phillies picked up the win against the Marlins, eight to four. Tigers won three to one. Uh, Cardinals again beat the Reds, so that's really not what you want with the Reds, um, especially them trying to fight for that playoff spot, losing to the Cardinals, who had just had a disastrous season. The Rangers got back on track; they won three to two. Astros won seven to five over the Padres. Pirates beat the Braves eight to four. Um, the Giants won nine to one, so they needed that. They're trying to stay in it as well. And the Angels won six to two. So those are the scores from Saturday, and then we get to the games uh, for Sunday, uh, for yesterday, or no, today's Tuesday. What am I saying? For Sunday. Um, so the Yankees won in walk-off fashion, four to three. Corbin Burns was throwing a no hitter. And actually, the Yankees were getting no hit through ten innings. They picked. I think they picked up their first hit in the eleventh inning. Uh, uh, Oswaldo Cabrera got an RBI double, tied the game at one, and then Stanton hit a two-run home run when the uh, Brewers put up a two spot in the top of the twelfth. So they tied it at three, and then Kyle Higashioka had a walk-off double. So Yankees get back down to seventy-one and seventy-two. Marlins got a, b- a big win over the Phillies. They won five to four. Uh, David Robertson actually picked up the win in that game. And the Rays actually, again, beat the Mariners. So Mariners had a rough series at the Trop, uh, losing those games to the Rays. So Rays are at 88 wins. Um, so they're, uh, you know, they're still hanging around. Uh, with all the stuff happening off the field with their best player, um, they still have kept it together, and they're playing good baseball. So, you know, we're going to see. They could catch up to the Orioles. They they really can. Um, it's going to be really close. Tigers, they won 3-2 to two over the White Sox. Not really much to say there. Uh, Red Sox, they picked up a win on the Orioles, 7-3. to three. Um, So, you know, I mean, they're still technically in it, like the Yankees. Um, but, you know, they're, they're, we're both not going anywhere. Um, so, but good win for them. Uh, Dodgers, 7-3. Over the Nationals, so they're at 87 wins on the season. Braves they picked up a win, five to two over the Pirates. Blue Jays again beat the Royals. So now that with that loss on Sunday, Royals are at 100 losses on the season. So uh, yeah, I mean it's it's just crazy. I mean I was in 10th grade when they won the World Series, and now this team is where they are right now. And it's just, I mean, who knows when they're going to be? I mean they're going through the same thing the Orioles went through all those years when they were bad. So, um, but yeah, it's, it's, uh, it's just kind of crazy how times are different with that. Um, the Reds, they beat the Cardinals seven to one. Um, so that, that was good that they got that win. Uh, Astros were all over the Padres. They won 12 to two Mets won two, nothing against the twins to salvage that last game of the series. Cubs won five to two. So they picked up a win against the diamondbacks in their series. Rangers, they won 9-4 to four over the A's. So the A's, it's crazy because the A's, they looked like they were going to have the worst record in baseball. And right now the Royals have it at this moment in time. Angels win 2-1 to one over the Guardians, and then the Giants win 6-3 to three over the Rockies. So, yeah, now we get to Monday's games. So the Yankees and Red Sox were postponed. So, actually, the Braves and the Phillies had a doubleheader, and they split it. Braves won 10-8. to eight in 10 innings. So a lot of scoring in that game. Uh, top of the lineup for the Phillies, their top four guys each had two hits, Schwarber, Trey Turner. Uh, Trey Turner, OPS is at 787. He's almost at 800. So he's really picked it up, you know, ever since that bad game in Miami. Bryce Harper, I mean, we're talking about it. He's playing. He played first base, 296 batting average, 880 OPS. So you kind of hope that Jason Dominguez can bounce back and and do the same thing off of his UCL injury. Now Alec Boehm had two hits and three 
RBIs. Uh, Acuna, he had two hits. Austin Riley had two hits. Matt Olson had a hit, two RBIs. I think that's the game that he hit his 50th home run or one, uh, let's see. Let's look right now, really quickly. Uh, he had an well, he had an RBI double. So, um, but yeah. Um, then the second game, Phillies won seven to five. Phillies are gonna get that top wild card spot. Um, so, yeah, they, they are. That's a team that could definitely make it back to the World Series, and especially with you know Zach Wheeler at the top and their lineup. Yeah, Phillies are going to be a, a tough team, especially, you know, if they face the Braves again. Because the, the Phillies are the team that eliminated the Braves from the playoffs last year. So, um, but yeah, so they split. Nationals, they beat the Pirates 6-2. to two. Orioles won 11-5 over the Cardinals. This is a big series right here. Rangers and the Blue Jays, they started a series, and the Rangers won 10-4 to four yesterday. Chris Bassett, he picked up the loss. Dunning picked up the win. Um, but yeah, this, these are big games right here for both of these teams because they're fighting for that third wild card spot. And also the, you know, the second one as well. Um, so that's a big series right there. Diamondbacks, they picked up a win over the Mets four to three. So that's good for them. Rays won seven to four against the twins. So right now they're at 89 wins on the season. And like I talked about in the first segment, uh, Brandon Woodruff, he picked up his fifth win on the season he has a 1.93 era in his starts this season brewers were all over the marlins 12 nothing so uh that's a big win for them uh, again the cubs are right behind them and like i said been saying that last series could it could come down to that um as long as it stays the way it is uh the a's they defeated the astros for nothing it's it's kind of interesting how i, I don't want to say that the a's don't own the astros but I feel like the Astros like do have problems with the A's, even if the A's aren't particularly good. Because I they might have I think they might have swept the Astros last year. Um, I don't know why the Astros have problems with the A's, um, but yeah. So A's right right now the Royals have the worst record in baseball. A's right A's right now set at ninety nine losses. Uh, so the Cubs they got back to their winning ways five four over the Rockies. Drew Smiley picked up the win. In that game, his 11th win on the season. And the Angels, in 11 innings, they beat the Mariners 8-5, to 68-77. And, and there's going to be a, a segment on the show where we go over, you know, everything that happened with the Angels this season in more depth. Because I, I think I really, I think it's really important to touch upon that. And also, another headline that I forgot to mention, the, the, A's are, the, the Angels are open to trading Mike Trout. And... Yeah, I, I think at this point they need to tear it down because and get him out of there because it's it's just it's it's not working. It just isn't working. Um, Giants in walk off fashion they beat the Guardians five to four, and then the Padres beat the Dodgers eleven to eight. But it's you know too little, too late. I mean, with the Padres, thought this team was gonna be very good. So many so many people thought that. I mean, how could they not be with that lineup? And the fact that they sit here right now at 68 and 77 is just, it, it's its mind-boggling. It, it just, it, it really is. Um, but, i you know what, I, I would say run it back. You know, give it another year. And if it doesn't work next year, then I think it's time to just, you got to do something. Because, I mean, you look at the run differential. The run differential is really good. It's just they've lost a lot of close games. So, but yeah, it's uh, it's been a rough go for the Padres. Um, so that's uh, the game recaps from this weekend. Ran through a lot of games. Um, so with that, we're going to take our final break of the show. And then when we come back, we're going to talk about the current standings all around baseball. Um, so again, just to remind you guys to tip or donate to the program and get your comments recognized, go to streamelements.com slash GSMC Sports Network dot slash tip. Again, this really helps the show, and this is for bonus coverage, and this and it's stuff that you won't see on this broadcast. So if you go to Patreon.com and search up GSMC Sports Network, that's where you can donate, and we really would appreciate that. So with that, we are going to take our final break of the show, and then when we come back, we are going to talk about the wild card races and what the divisional standings are. So stick around. We will be right back here on the GSMC Baseball Podcast. 